Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here and the topics I cover interest you, please consider subscribing. After watching this video, if you find it helpful, interesting and entertaining, please give it a like and share. It helps my channel grow. If you'd like to support my channel, feel free to give a super thanks, join my channel membership or make a one-off PayPal donation. Link in the description. Your support is truly appreciated. Now, on today's podcast. In today's topic, I'm going to be discussing and talking about how to create a template for a podcast using Universal Audio's free DAW Luna. I'm going to discuss how the template is set up for the announcer as well as the guest microphones as well as background music or any sound effect we want to add into the podcast. Since Luna does not come with any plugins, I'm going to introduce to you a free plugin bundle that you can download and install to make your podcast sound professional. The template is pre-configured to duck the music or the audio whenever the announcer or any of the guest microphones are on. This will eliminate any volume automation speeding up the editing process. I will leave a link in the description where you can download this template for free from my website. And now on with the video demonstrating how to use the template. So you want to create a podcast that sounds professional, but uh, you want everything for free. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the right video. Because what I'm going to demonstrate, and I'll provide you a template as well, as you heard in the introduction, we're going to use Universal Audio's free DAW Luna and a free plugin by Kilohertz. Just uh, visit kilohertz.com, scroll down until you find Kilohertz Essentials, and it's for free. Click and download and install all the plugins. Because you're going to need them for my template. When you load the template, you will actually have about four tracks, and, uh, one called Announcer, and then Guest 1, Guest 2, and Guest 3. And if you don't have many guests, if it's just you, that's Announcer, or if you have one guest, that's one guest, what you could do is go to uh, over here, and then you can turn off Guest 2 and 3. That way you'll gain some space in uh, over there. So I'm just going to turn off all the guests, making... Uh, have that on there so this way i can see more of what's what's happening and after that we have a bus that all the microphone goes to and then we have a music channel where we have our background music and our music also has a side chain compression from the mic bus so any microphone audio sound will reduce the level of the volume of the music so the ducking the background uh, music so that you can hear the voice correctly. And I've also added a sound effects uh, one. That way, if you want to add like claps or uh, cheering and whatever in your podcast, you can do that. You can add the clips here. At the moment, it's blank. Then I do have a reverb. I do like to use on my podcast very, very tiny bit of reverb just to give the vocal a little bit more ambience. And then we've got the main bus. If we look at the um, uh, the tracks here, that's where they are. Let me just enable all the other ones, missing uh, hidden ones as well. And this is all the channels. So we've got the announcer, guest, guest two, guest three, and mic bus, music, sound effects, reverb, and main. Now let's have a look at all the plugins that I've used here. All the plugins you see on the screen are from Kilohertz. They are free. There's about 33 plugins you get for free. And they are very, very low in CPU. As you can see from the bottom of the screen, render and render IO, only 3% out of all of these plugins there, which is fantastic. And that's what you want. Okay. So initially what I have here is the gate. This basically eliminates any background noise or any sort of um, in between uh, voices to cut those off. And you can adjust the threshold to do that. After that, we have dynamics, which is not a compression. Here, I'm, I'm using Dynamics. I'm adding a little bit more of the upwards compression, and then I have compression 4 to 1. Okay, 1.2 to 1 upwards compression. 
and the settings are here. You can adjust them, but you don't really need to. You can leave them as they are because they will sound fantastic. I've already done all the settings for you. It does use some knee as well, so it's nice and gentle upwards compression and compression, normal compression as well. And after the dynamics, I've got a three-band EQ because that's all you're going to need for the vocals. If you like to use a different EQ, then that's fine. You can use it. But if you want to stay free, then you can use this three-band EQ to adjust the lower frequencies and uh, give a little bit of uh, air at the end. And that's all I've done. And that's for all the channels. And then they go into a uh, mic bus. And this is the mic bus here. Okay, this one here. And then on the mic bus, I just have a com normal compression, a very low ratio, 2 to 1 ratio. And you can adjust the uh, threshold. Probably minus 12 is a good spot to be. And a little bit of makeup gain, and it's working on peaks. So just reducing the peaks of all the microphones. And then the mix bus is just feeds back to the main. Now we have the music channel. The music channel has compression on it which has sidechain enabled. And the way sidechain works is that um, any audio from the uh, mic bus will trigger the compressor to compress the music down. And we can find that here under, I think, utility. As you can see, sidechain input. Sidechain input is set to the compressor. And the compressor is on fast. You can adjust some of the settings depending on the audio level that you've got. But attack and release, I would leave as they are because they allow very smooth transition of ducking and coming back the audio. As you can see, that's how set up. I've added 6 dB of gain just to make sure that we've got enough signal going into the compressor of the music channel to bring it down. And as you heard at the right at the beginning of this video clip, how it ducks. It normally ducks about 20 dB of compression. It's like pressing the dim button on your audio interface, or back in the days we had a dim button on, uh, on uh, mixing desk. So that's sort of the level you want to dip down. And my music is, at the moment, is uh, adjusted to minus 6.1 6 dB, but that is balanced depending on the sound, the level of your music that you are playing. And then... I do have a reverb. This is a very short, short uh, decay, a very small size room, just to give a little bit of ambience to the vocal so it's not too dry. And then after that, we have our main. On the main, I have, uh, again, a compressor. Again, picking up, uh, connecting the peaks uh, and reducing a 2 to 1 dB ratio just to bring it down and balance everything together. And then a limiter on top to uh, 0.7 dB. So you get nice and loud and without any peaks, without any distortion. That's what the limiter is there for. The amount of reverb is subjective. I'm only sending like minus 30 dB virtually uh, of the signal into the reverb. And that's how they sound. So if I uh, enable it so you can uh, hear how much reverb is coming, I'm just going to solo that. So you can have a listen. I'm going to mute my mic. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my channel, and I hope you're doing well. As you can hear, the reverb is very, very little, but you can adjust that if you wanted to or completely disable it. It's your choice. Now, to use my template, once you've downloaded it from my website, locate the following folder, the Documents, Universal Audio, Presets, Sessions. And just unzip in there. As you can see, I've got podcast episode 00 and 001. And do this before you open Luna. And once you restart Luna and you go into File, Create New, and go into Templates, you can see I've got 1 and 2. They are identical. And once you click that, there's some information here as well as Notes. And choose a template and it will create a new using that template. Of course, the audio will not have any of my voices and the backing track. That is something you need to add yourself. And you'll be all set to go.
Well, we've reached the end of today's episode. I hope you found it very helpful, interesting, and entertaining at the same time. If you did, please give it a like. As always, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio, guys.